friends, I'm going to show you guys how I make my white sauce um, enchilada. And so we got people working on our stairs. It's going to be um, quite loud, but I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. Just rotisserie chicken. I get mine at Costco. Flour tortillas. Um, some shredded cheese. Flour. Sour cream. I use green chili from Trader Joe's. Salt and pepper. Um, basically, you're going to make a roux out of the flour and the chicken broth. Add some salt and pepper there just to flavor it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add on my green chilies and sour cream. And then before that, I'm going to shred up my chicken. This is just rotisserie chicken from Costco. I'm going to use about maybe three cups for a family of six. Three cups, two cups, and however many tortillas I have for the family. And then um, about three cups of sour cream, green chili, and then roughly about two cans of the chicken broth. So that's um, however many two cans is, maybe two and a half cups, and then about six to eight tablespoons of the, the flour. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping it up and show you guys. Roughly, I don't know, maybe three, three cups of, uh, of chicken in here, rotisserie chicken that I, did, um, I shredded, maybe four, I don't, I really just eyeball it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some cheese and then put it in here, about maybe two and a half cups for this, and then I'm gonna blend it well together. All right, sorry guys, I'm just using my iPhone and like I said, we have people working on the stairs. We're replacing our carpet on the stairs. So you just want to make sure that this is just very well blended, um, mix well together, and then just make it look like as if it has like the same consistency of chicken and cheese. Um, this is the part where I just usually just eyeball it. And that's it. So we're going to put this aside and then let's go start making our room. I forgot to mention earlier that you do need butter for your roux. So this is, I think, just regular unsalted butter. And then for this recipe, I basically have doubled it to, um, to meet my family's needs. I have um, four kids and two adults. Um, but if you're just cooking it for two or three people, then just um, cut it in half of all the ingredients I'm using. So I'm going to use about six tablespoons. So I'm just going to cut that in half. And then I'm going to melt it into my pot. And then once it's melted, I'm going to go ahead and add my, um, my flour. And then just make sure that um, your pot is in very low heat. All right, so for this one, I have a hubby helping me because I have the camera. So you basically want to make sure your butter is melted. Turn it down really, really low. So I have it in very low, um, low heat. And then I've already pre-measured um, about six tablespoons of, um, of flour. And then we're going to start putting it in there. Okay, go ahead, hubby. Yep. There you go. Because you don't want to burn the flour, otherwise it's it's not gonna taste the same. Yep. Okay, let's really, really whisk it. So that was three. Okay. So that looks like it's pretty cooked. So now I'm gonna start putting in my chicken broth. So that's one cup. Um, I put like, um, usually I put like the swan, is it the swan chicken broth? And that was like two cans. There's another one. Alright, we went ahead and added about three and a half cups of chicken broth onto here. Now I'm just going to flavor it with just a little bit of salt and, uh, and pepper just to give it a little bit of flavor. So hubby's going to do that. A um, couple of sprinkles and then once it starts boiling, I will remove it from from the heat and then that's when I'm going to add my sour cream and my green chilies. It's cooling down. I'm going to go ahead and get um, uh, Pam cooking spray and then I'm just going to lightly reset so it doesn't stick. And then, so I have my roux. I have my roux and then I have my sour cream. I'm just basically gonna put two cups of sour cream in here. All right, I have the sour cream and the chili in here. Now you can add more or less chili. Um, I use like a little can of chili from, uh, green chili from Trader Joe's. But if you have kids and they're very picky, you can use half of it. But I wouldn't omit it because it does put in a lot of flavor into your cream sauce and just mix that well and then we're going to start rolling out our tortillas with the 
with the chicken and um, the cheese. Okay. You ready, hubby? Ready to All go. right, so I like to stuff my tortillas because um, that's what the kids like. So I'm just going to roll it, stuff it in there as much as I can, and then roll it nice and tight. And then I'm just going to start repeating that until I'm out of tortillas. And by stuffing it, um, overstuffing it, I feel like the kids are just getting um, a bit more more into their their bite. <laughs> So I like to put mine in between first before I pour it over to make sure that it's all in there. The sauce is amazing. And this is a super easy recipe too. The kids can easily make this. Um, you can make the roux, the sauce ahead of time for them. And then um, they can come in, come home after school for my kids, my older ones. And shred the chicken and mix it with the cheese. And then the sauce is already ready. And then all they have to do is just this. Um, my kids like to cook. not go skimpy on your sauce this is why i like to double my recipe for my sauce is because i do like a lot of sauce in there and then also if i do have extra sauce i can easily make um just pasta and then use this as um, a white sauce for the pasta for the girls um to bring to school the next day um, see how there's still a lot of sauce and that's it, friends. Simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and bake this into the oven. You could put it in broil for just maybe a few minutes, to, um, two to five minutes. But if you do put it on broil, I recommend not to walk away from your oven. But I usually just put it into like 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. I'm going to sprinkle some more cheese on top. And... All right, it's ready to go into the oven. Look at that. And so huge, it's easy to make. All right, friends, here it is. Okay, I do want to sample it um, before feeding it to the family. So I'm gonna get a, a cut. Oh, I can, this one. I overstuffed the edge one, so that's okay. Yeah, or do you need this one? No. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. But look how cheesy. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, you actually you taste it. Tell me how what you think. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know I'm hungry. Yeah, I've made this a few times for the family. Hubby loves this. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Hot. Mmm. Good. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so that's how we made our sour cream white sauce chicken enchilada. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Mahalo.